Oh shit, look who's back in the motherfucking building. Oh, what's the deal, man? It's your boy King, motherfucking Rossi, man. You feel me? But today, we're gonna do a QA and a video, man. First time ever doing this. I ain't never done this before, so y'all bear with me. You feel me? I'm finna get y'all all the little rundowns and all that shit. But anyways, man, let's get right into the video, man. But before we start the video, we'll be taking a shot, so. Cause you know, the truth comes out and shit. Looking ass. Ah! Cheers to y'all, man. He needs some milk. Oh. Oh. All right, man. So let's get right to the video. I look, I look, I'm looking good, y'all. I look all right. Hold on, I'm gonna this real quick, bro. Uh, look, all right, yeah. All right, so look, first question, coffee or tea? Uh, I'm gonna go with tea because tea, tea warms you down, tea cools you down, tea make you relax. Coffee don't really have me like gibberish or energized and shit, so that's why I wouldn't go with that. What is your idea of a perfect day? Uh, my idea of a perfect day, let's say like waking up, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, figuring out a nice fit to wear, um, figuring out a nice fit to wear, eat, eat some food real quick. Step out, get some air, you know, stretch real quick. Step out, get some air. Um, hit a couple people up, see what they're doing today, you know, see if we finna chill with somebody or not, you know what I'm saying? If not, then, you know what I'm saying, find something to do. You feel me? Hop in a whip skirt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go go out the city. Like, perfect day to me is, like, going out the city for sure. Like, if you finna go out the city that you live in, you finna have a good day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, go shopping, too, on top of that. Uh, would you go to space? Hell yeah, man. I would go to space for sure. I'm in space right now. No, I'm fucking around, but man, I would go to space, man. I would love to go to space, actually. Like, that's one of my, that's something that's on my bucket list, to be honest. Going to space. What's your best subject in school? My best subject in school is science. I fucked with science, like, no cap. Fucked with science, for real, for real. Straight up. What's your hidden talent? My hidden talent, I mean... Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not know, but gymnastics, like I know gymnastics, you feel me, sir? Gymnastics is one of my hidden talents. But the ones I don't know. Let's say, uh, skip that one. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? Ooh, this is a good ass question right here. <laughs> I'd rather be invisible. I ain't gonna lie, being invisible is tight as fuck. Like, I think that's tight as fuck. Like, imagine you, like, invisible as fuck and you, nobody, like, know you right there and you just right there, like, yeah, nigga, I'm right here. Like, nigga, what you wanna do? <laughs> yeah, so I'd rather be invisible. How many pets do you want? Shit, I want, like, I want, like, two French Bulldogs, no cap. Two Frenchies. Uh, skip that. What was the most embarrassing memory from school? Oh, shit. Let me tell y'all some real shit. Look. So one day when I was in seventh grade, right? This one girl, she had a crush on me or whatever, right? She had a crush on me. And I was like, like, you know, I was a little thought boy back then. You feel me? Like I had like, you know, especially middle school. Like I was that nigga, you feel me? So she was mad because like, I'm talking to other girls and shit, but like she wasn't my girlfriend or nothing. So I'm walking down the aisle with the homie. I'm walking down the aisle with one of my homies, you know, walking regular and shit, right? And I see her coming about to walk by me, but like, you know, I ain't trying to like, you know, I, actually I was paying attention to her. She was walking by and I already seen her and I was like, I'm about to like, you know, throw my deuces up, like, what's up? So I throw my deuces up, like, what's up to her, right? And I'm walking with the homie, man, man, this motherfucker, like, boom, like, she, she hit me in my chest, like, hard as fuck, like, bink. Like, just, <laughs> like she just walked by and just said, bink. But it didn't hurt, like, to mind y'all, it did not hurt at all, right? So I kept it pushing, like, I told the homie, I'm like, bro, she just sent me in my chest, what the fuck? Bro, the crazy part about the story, after that, I take, like, three more steps. Nigga, I fall out. Nigga, I pass out. I swear to God to y'all, bro, I fall out, like, <clears throat> like, if y'all don't know, like, look, like, one of these tooth right here, like, I landed on my tooth, so that shit kind of chipped it, but I got it fixed. But, man, I'll fall out. No cap. I'll fall out. Mind you, everybody in the everybody in the aisles, man. Everybody in the aisles. Man, I'll fall out, right? Boom. So, I'm finally, like, waking up. Like, I'm all drowsy. I'm waking up, right? I'm waking up to a teacher. 
like right there like are you okay are you okay i'm like yeah like you know mind you i forgot about what happened and everything like i forgot like i didn't even know i passed out or nothing i'm like yeah i'm good or whatever she like oh well you need to go to the uh, office because uh you passed out or whatever right so long story short like basically yeah that was like uh the embarrassing moment of me in middle school when i woke up nobody was right there either like it was weird as fuck like i thought i was dreaming like what the fuck like there's nobody walking in the aisle no more i ended up seeing it on the camera too the uh, principal showed me on the camera like boom you got socked in your chest right there and then you fall out and then i got socked by a girl in my chest that's embarrassing as fuck anyways next question um uh, are you more like your mom or dad let's say uh, I'm probably like both, honestly. Like, I think I like, I got, I, I'm more like both of them put you on it, so they know, no like favoritism or nothing like that. What is your dream job? My dream job is becoming a crime scene investigator. Uh, when do you want to get married? Uh, Honestly, I'll get married once I once I once I know that I'm like, you know, like I'm over here looking at like rings and stuff like that. Once I know like I'm looking at rings and stuff like that, then I'll get married. And like, once I find myself like, you know, going through that situation where it's on my mind a lot and shit like that, I will get married. Like for me, then I know like God trying to tell me something. Like you know, you start thinking about getting married, you start planning on it and shit like that. Then yeah. Um. say what is your what is your favorite school subject uh science science and math i fuss about those what superpower would you have um honestly what superpower would i have uh let's let me think about this one real quick uh, superpower i have um a, ooh, i would want to jump like to where like i would want to jump or teleport honestly like basically jump when i say jump like like when I jump, I jump hella high and I go hella far and then I, when I land, it don't hurt type shit. So then I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to like drive nowhere. You feel me? I could just jump to, like say for somebody when we come through, I jump to that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the deal <laughs> type shit, you know? So I already know how to jump or teleport. You feel me? Uh, skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. Uh, where would you go first? If you could teleport, that's crazy. That's crazy that it's a question. I was just saying that right now. Where would I go first if I could teleport? I'll probably go to like, I'll go to Asia. Honestly, I'll go to Asia or China. Like I wanna see like, I wanna see like Chinese people, like their world, their world and their culture. Cause I like, I like that culture a lot. I like like Asians and uh, Chinese culture. So I'll probably go out that way. What do you think is your best future? What do I think is my best future? Uh, let me see, let me look at the camera real quick. Uh, <laughs> probably my smile, honestly. Like, you know, I got a cute ass smile. So probably that, but I think the video for the end, cause my phone, feel me that shit. Yeah, I'm doing this on my phone or whatever, but like I know my shit wouldn't go full or whatever. So I'm probably gonna end it right there or whatever. Like, last question, what celebrity could you beat up in a fight? Man, what celebrity can I beat up in a fight? Honestly, If Kevin Hart need that, he can get that with his short ass on me. I'll be Kevin Hart's ass. <laughs> nah, but that's my favorite actor, though. That's what the next question was. I'm trying to end it fast. Hurry up. But anyways, man, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the last question I'm going to do for now. I might do a part two on this. I'm going to do a part two on this, actually, because, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a part two. So, yeah, I'm going to do a part two. I'm going to it right there. I'm going to do a part two. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't know. Part two, I'm going to eat these fries in a part two video. But anyways, man, it's your boy King Rossi, man. I hope y'all like the video, man be patiently waiting for the part two because i'm gonna do that I, you know i'm gonna do that probably like in a little bit not right now i'm probably doing it in a little bit but yeah you ain't no deal man turn up man it's your boy lil rossi king rossi lil rossi is my rap name if y'all didn't know i am a rapper too at the same time but i'm on this youtube shit right now so you know i'm king rossi right now you know what i'm saying so you already know what it is man go follow me on instagram king.rossi and yeah we on a new channel bing bing boom boom bing bing boom back